may be. I'm John Baldoni and time, join me for another episode of Piano Stories as part of my Grace Under Pressure story, uh, Grace Under Pressure series. And today we're going to explore the music of Jerome Kern. Let's start with one of his more famous songs called A Fine Romance. <laughs> Jerome Kern was um, revered by his fellow composers. Uh, he was born in 1885 and studied music formally at conservatories and also studied in Europe where he was very influenced by operetta, musicals of, uh, by Johann Strauss and um, Franz Lehár. And so he came back to the United States. He started writing Broadway, what became Broadway musicals. And so eventually, here's um, he teamed up with uh, a man, Oscar Robin. Excuse me, Oscar Robinson, uh, basketball player. No, Oscar Hammerstein the second, and it's a great song called "All the Things You Are." Musicals, uh, what we Broadway musicals prior to uh, uh, Drum Kern were more or less musical reviews, collections of song. And the great breakthrough was Showboat, which uh, he wrote with um, Oscar Hammerstein. Uh, and it was a, a, a unified show, more like an operetta in, the, in that tradition. So well, here's a song from that uh, called Can't Stop Loving That Man. Thank you. 
Jerome Cronin also wrote a lot of stuff with a lyricist, uh, Dorothy Fields, uh, who was uh, quite a prolific uh, lyricist herself and wrote with many composers, but uh, often with uh, Kern. Uh, Kern was much older than she was. Kern, by the way, was probably among the eldest of the Broadway composers of that time. He was born in 1885. By comparison, uh, Gershwin was uh, late uh, 1898. Uh, uh, Howard Harold Arlen was 1905, so he was, in a way, he was a few years older than Irving Berlin, who was 1889. So anyway, anyway, here's a cute song called I Won't Dance, and if you've heard the uh, version by Tony Bennett and uh, Lady Gaga, it's worth knowing. It's, it's quite cute. Anyway, so... <laughs> I won't dance because I know that music leads to romance. <laughs> Cute little song. Um, also in an upbeat mood was another song he wrote with Dorothy Fields called Pick Yourself Up. Okay, I think we've all heard this at one time or another. <laughs> message for our times, I think. Um, a, a more famous song, probably from, from Showboat, is Old Man River, uh, which, again, he wrote for Showboat and with, with uh, Oscar, Rob, uh, Oscar Hammerstein. And uh, anyway, it goes like this. and I had no idea that Jerome Kern had written it. It's called Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. <laughs> Thank you. 
does something with many of his songs that I find fascinating. I'm an amateur uh, uh, music uh, theorist, or I have a, a, a slight grasp of music theory. And many composers, for a bridge or for which is a different transition in the song, uh, they will switch it to another key. If you're in the key of C, C major, they might go to G uh, major or F uh, major, something like that. Kern didn't do that. What Kern did was an effectively a transition or modulation to another key. But rather than change the key, he just kind of switched things and uh, put in a lot of what's called accidentals into the music. So that uh, um, with an accidental is a um, when you go outside the original chord structure. So C becomes C minor. <laughs> makes jazz harmony so rich. Um, so it's one of the things that he did. Um, one of his most famous songs, of course, is The Way You Look Tonight, again, which he wrote for, with Dorothy Fields. Okay. <laughs> Sadly, died when he was age 60, died in 1945, so he was just about 60. So anyway, um, uh, but he left us with a legacy of music, rich melodies, wonderful tunes that uh, are eminently hummable, and uh, uh, when we listen to them, we are transported to another world. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for um, Piano Stories for today. I'll be back again, and in between, uh, make sure you watch my series, um, uh, Grace Under Pressure, where I have interviews with thought leaders and doers who are changing our world for the better. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.